How do you know whether you've got the right putter for you? You don't miss. Now, ironically, after the first clip, I didn't think that was gonna go in. <laughs> Let me do that clip again. Now, ironically, after the first clip, I don't actually get on well with this putter. It's a bit light, it's a bit short, and I don't actually like the grip. However, hopefully after this video, you'll have a bit of an understanding on how to find the perfect putter for you. This is Bargain Review where basically I look at old equipment from eBay and Facebook and show you the value in some old equipment which isn't obviously going to break the bank. However, in the last video we did a tailor-made V-Steel combo with a hazard smoke shaft. Great combination and if you want to go and watch that video I highly recommend as well as enter to win it as I haven't given it away yet. However, if you want to win this ping redwood putter all you got to do is leave this video a like subscribe if you're new and comment down below how many curse and profanities i said throughout the entire making of this video length does matter when it comes to putters so make sure when you're buying a new expensive cheap old whatever it is make sure it's at least the right length easiest way to do this go to any store any shop that has an adjustable putter loosen it so the handle moves stand over it till you feel comfortable and then get someone else to tighten it back up whatever the reading is whether it's 33 34 35 inches that is the length of putter you should be looking for in your next putter whether it's old cheap second hand whatever it might be Now, apart from obviously doing that, why would you choose a blade putter over a mallet putter in this day and age? And quite simply, these are harder to hit. 80% of golfers forgetting toe balance and face balance and all that kind of stuff should go down the mallet route, mainly because it's heavier, more forgiving, pace is easier, and alignment is definitely a lot more easier. Whereas the more experienced golfer, and this is what I found with blade putters, is it's like a bladed iron. If you don't hit this well, you're going to know about it, which means that you can work on your putting stroke to get better and better, and therefore you're going to hold more putts, whereas you lose that feedback with the mallet putters. However, if you're not practicing your putting 20 hours a week, then you might as well just go down the mallet route anyway. Now, Simon, that's not a very impressive length of putt, and under the circumstances, you're probably right. However, if you can't hold six putts from that length surrounding a hole consecutively, then don't go and buy a new putter. You haven't practiced enough. You haven't ingrained your putting stroke enough. You definitely haven't got enough idea of what putter you're then looking for. So the challenge is, after watching this video and you want to go and buy a second hand putter, a cheap putter, an expensive putter, is that you have to hold six putts in a row. And this is why it's important. It's because when you get to the fourth, fifth and sixth putt, you're gonna feel the pressure your strokes gonna come apart and you're gonna hit it all over the place, just like you would on a golf course marking a card or playing with friends. Therefore, you're putting yourself in that scenario. Pressure practice is key if you want to get good at this game. No point in dropping three balls on the green, hitting them to three random holes and so on and so forth because that's not what you do on the golf course. So practice putts from this length because that is 50% of the game. And if I put 50% of my time and practice into this length, I would have got my handicap down a lot quicker than I did. And unfortunately I spent 90% on the driver. Right, this is the third time filming this intro for this putt and I've put a bit of pressure on myself now so hopefully I hold this otherwise this is ironically the longest challenge I've had so far. Right, let's go. Grip is important. Too many Scotty Camerons over the years I've seen with a super stroke or a win 3.0 grip on it which just destroys the whole idea of that expensive putter. 
Putters nowadays are designed to have thicker grips, therefore pretty much every brand new putter you buy now is going to have a thicker grip to accommodate, obviously, less wrist break because a small grip like this, for example, I don't get on well with because my wrists are very active in my plank stroke, which makes it very inconsistent. The bigger grip you put on a putter, the lighter the head feels and less feedback you're going to get. So just ask someone's advice and realistically just go with whatever feels most comfortable, but for the love of God, do not change that grip once you've bought that putter. Just replace it once it's perished. So you finally found the putter that suits your game. Right length, right style, right weight, right grip. Practice. And also use it off the green. Too many times I see people using wedges from places they should just putt from. If you're three foot off the green, who cares? If you're gonna put it closer, use your putter. There's no pictures on a scorecard. Hopefully you've seen that throughout this video anyway. 33 inches, too light, don't like the grip, and it's a blade. So it's not for me, but it's gonna be for someone. And what I want to show you throughout this video is Simon at 18 years of age when he started this game could have the most expensive putt in the world, but 28 year old Simon could use a broom handle and still whip him. So just take it with a pinch of salt. I'd rather you invest your money in your putting than your driver. It's gonna save you more shots and also just taking a bit of pride around the short game area is just generally gonna give you more confidence. Now I've got to hold this putt from off the green to finish off this video. No idea what take this is now, but if you like this video, leave it a like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll probably leave some outtakes at the end. Anyway, see you later. Hold this putt now, no idea what take this is. Got to hold this putt from off the green now. Don't know what take this is, but no idea what take this is now. Anyway, I've got to hold this putt from off the green. Now I've got to hold this putt from off the green. To finally finish this video, At this point, you're probably wondering, Simon, are you gonna hold a putt after every statement? And the answer is yes. Now, at this point, you might be wondering, Simon, are you gonna hold a putt after every statement? And the answer is yes. And profanities I said throughout the entire making of this video. See you later.